A news alert, terrifying moments for a worker at a Jimmy John sandwich shop caught on camera. A man pointing a gun to his head, demanding money in Kansas City. Police releasing clear surveillance video showing the employee calmly handing over that money. New on the news edge, a Florida waiter in big trouble. Cops say he swiped someone's expensive ring. Caitlin's here to show us. That's right, Stephen. So this is 27-year-old Wesley Dykett. Right, time now for hot hashtags. Here's what Central Florida tweeting about tonight. We, of course, start with tax day. It's a huge day. Today is the deadline to file before midnight. A family desperate for help. A man claiming he is Jesus, allegedly stalking their daughter. Why they say police are helpless to stop him. That's ahead on the Fox 30. News Edge. We have team coverage tonight. We start live with Fox's Lauren Blanchard, who has the very latest from Washington. Lauren? Hi, Stephen and Luann. Well, new this evening, police are identifying the suspect. Having a live look outside with that amazing monster wasp in our iDrive camera tonight. That thing is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> we hope it stays there. Luann, I don't know if you have a big fly swatter or what, but I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but that's pretty, that's pretty scary. That's perfect timing. I love that stuff. All right, forecast. Live TV is a good thing. Breaking news, an attempted kidnapping at a popular park in Orange County. Melissa joins us now in the pod with the latest on this. Yeah, this crime line reward poster, big, bold, and red, just out tonight. And I can tell you as a woman, this is just simply terrifying. How'd you like this guy? to come at you and, well, and calls the cops and, and they're searching for him yeah, right now. Yeah, that is a scary situation. Tell us more about this suspect. What do we know? We have this sketch. What else do we know about yeah, him? Yeah, so later here in the poster, it tells you he's about uh, 50 to 60 years old. Time now for hot hashtags. Here's what Central Florida is tweeting about tonight. Give me five. Take a look here. It is National High Five Day. Visit Florida posting this clever tweet. Elizabeth Thomas, that missing Tennessee teen, allegedly kidnapped by her teacher, found safe in California. California today, the teacher arrested. And SeaWorld, the last orca born in captivity at SeaWorld Park in San Antonio. Well, they're tenting the police station in Apopka, trying to get rid of termites. Gross. Fox 35's Tracy Jason is live with the process that'll last all weekend long. Tracy? Well, the weekend is now here. Many folks, of course, start on Friday evening and looking forward to the plans. A gorgeous shot from Daytona Beach Shores. The question, though, is, is it going to continue to stay this toasty for the weekend? And Glenn's here with a look at that. It looks like it, Stephen. Yeah, it looks like temperatures inland, especially for the and you know things are going well when you can stop mid-playoff game for a beer. LeBron James almost took a little drink out of this bottle during last night's game against the Wizards. That thing is not worth some money. I wonder how much they Probably sold that, that specific that bottle. bottle for. Yeah, 50 bucks on eBay, 100 bucks. I mean, at least LeBron almost drank out of it and held it. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Well, singer Katy Perry, one of Adam's favorites, under fire tonight. Why many are outraged about a joke she made about President Obama and President Trump. When we track what's trending tonight, next on the News Edge. Good evening and welcome here to Fox 35. I'm Stephen Houck, live at Lake Eola in downtown Orlando as we are moments away from a special vigil that's being held to honor the 49 victims who lost their lives one year ago at the Pulse tragedy. Kind of want to show you the situation now as there are thousands who have showed up here for this event as was expected. The Pulse tragedy definitely tested the medical abilities of all the professionals at Orlando Regional Medical Center, which is just three blocks down the road from here at Pulse. Recently, Fox 35's David Martin had a chance to speak with the chief surgeon to talk about what all has changed in the past year. The unforgettable phone call. We continue to follow this breaking story. Sky Fox live over the scene at the Orange Osceola County line near Kissimmee along Silver Lake Drive south of the 417. At least two homes on fire. They are battling it as hard as they can. You can see the water going in there. Now we will, of course, continue to follow this for you here on the News Edge and bring you the very latest throughout the hour. We'll be right back. It's the Super Bowl of the wrestling world, right here in our own backyard. And Fox 35's Kirsten Delgado is there where the wrestlers will be walking the red carpet tonight in Orlando. So Kirsten, are you ready for some wild wrestling? I know I am. I know you're super jealous you're not here right now. Take a look behind me. That says it all. You know they got a lot of muscles, but it's nothing compared to this. Just kidding. All right. All right. Live in Orlando, Kirsten Delgado, Fox 35 News. All right. Thank you, Kirsten. And we appreciate you directing us to the gun show. Very nice. Coming up, what kind of bet do you have to lose to end up like this? That's coming up next on the News Edge. What is wrong with you? Get off! Stop it! 
What is going on? Another flight, another fight. Fists fly aboard a Southwest plane after landing in California. Cell phone video captures two men unleashing a series of punches before fellow passengers intervene. In a statement, Southwest says it is, quote, grateful for employees who quickly reacted to break up that fight. Goodness. Meanwhile, a woman is firing back at United Airlines after she says she wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom and a flight attendant gave her two cups to urinate into at her seat in front of other passengers. Fox's Marcus Officer has the story. Not something that I wanted to do. News alert, police chase a stolen vehicle in Los Angeles, ending with a violent crash. You see it right there. It happened in the San Fernando Valley. Police were preparing to pin the stolen vehicle when the driver lost control, veered into oncoming traffic, and hit another vehicle head on. Back to that video, a father and son jumped out of the vehicle that was hit. Officers pulled the suspect out of the stolen car, and he appeared to be putting up a struggle. He was taken to the hospital. The good news, the boy and his father were okay. Caught on camera, a man Marion County deputy gets an eyeful during this incident. And the deputy confronting a man walking down the street, as you can see there, naked yeah. as a jaybird. And it gets even weirder. Here's Fox 35's Tracy Jason. We are breaking into programming now for some very big news for Orlando. Orlando Police Department says they have captured suspected cop killer Markeith Lloyd. The department releasing the information on Twitter. You see it here just moments ago. Quote, we've got him. Markeith Lloyd in OPD custody. City Commissioner Regina Hill on the phone. What is your response, Regina, as soon as you heard this this evening of the capture of Markeith Lloyd? Oh, my God. I am... And huge, too, if you're just joining us, is the fact that they used the handcuffs of Lieutenant Deborah Clayton, the officer that Markeith Lloyd allegedly shot and killed at that Walmart last week. They specifically used her handcuffs to take him into custody. The crossing guard was over 65 years old. Stephen? Matt, when's the last time the county had an incident like this? Well, fortunately, it's been a... Consumer alert. Some deals popping up on your Facebook feed. You may have seen them. There are no deals at all. It's a scheme trying to steal your identity. Fox 35's Dana J is at our social wall tonight with what you need to watch out for. Dana? Well, Stephen, the fraudsters are use that to make their fake coupons look legitimate, Stephen. This is interesting because a lot of people have seen this, but can they get in trouble for using these fake coupons? Yeah, you see it, you just think it's annoying, right? But right. Trending now, a bizarre crime in the middle of a neighborhood. David joins us now in the pod with more on this pretty crazy story. David? Oh, th this is one that just keeps giving. He was swinging that machete everywhere while he was naked. Mm. Kids do not try this at home. Wow, my goodness, definitely. Thanks for that warning. While he was in an Ohio court to simply take care of a traffic ticket, he dropped a bag of cocaine on the floor. You can see it fall to the floor in the security camera video. Now, that minor traffic violation could turn into a felony. Wow, no good. Yeah, you always leave that at home. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Glenn Richards joins us now to look at our forecast. An extremely right. hot day, but Glenn, yeah. is it going to continue through the weekend? Uh, yes, it will. Looks like, as you can see, downtown Orlando right now. It a smooth criminal caught on camera. How deputies say he's ripping off local businesses next on the Fox 35 News Edge. Time for hot hashtags. Here's what Central Florida is tweeting about tonight. Hashtag Beyonce. The singer bailing on the Music Fest Coachella. Not going to be there. Doctor's orders for the pregnant pop diva to stay away. Fox 35 News. Kelly, thanks. Developing now tram trouble at OIA. The rail system taking passengers from the terminal to the gates going down, leaving passengers scrambling. Fox 35's Holly Bristow live at the airport with the latest on how things are going now. Holly? If you've been the victim of harassing calls, tell them to stop over the phone or by official letter. Keep a diary of the harassing phone calls and the date you said stop and get a phone log from your phone company. Stephen Houck, Fox 35 News. We have breaking news we've been following from the Florida Space Coast. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket about to launch from Kennedy Space Center. The launch window opens right about now at 627. This will be the first time ever SpaceX will be launching one of its used rockets. Let's take a listen to that countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. 
And there's the separation as that communication satellite sent off into orbit and that rocket heading back to Earth. Fantastic. Looks indeed successful with this launch by SpaceX this evening. Well, this rocket launch may be a first for SpaceX, but NASA also creating a first today. Astronaut Peggy Whitson floated out on her eighth spacewalk, a career record for her and a record for the most spacewalks by a woman. The mother of all bombs. For the first time in history, the U.S. drops the most powerful non-nuclear bomb in combat. It's a huge situation with that news breaking all day. The U.S. military unleashes the 22,000-pound monster on terror tunnels in Afghanistan. Joining us now, retired Army Colonel Jay Voorhees. Very familiar with that part of the world. When you heard about the bombing today, what was your first reaction? Well, um, obviously, this is a massive weapon that has never these been used. aggressive before. actions by these rogue states uh, stay under control as well as help our troops on the ground in Afghanistan. All right, retired Army Colonel Jay Voorhees, thanks for your time and insight. We appreciate it. Good to see you, Stephen. And the NFL draft just over 24 hours away. Will the Bucks swing a deal? Evan Fitzgerald has more next in the Sports Zone on the Fox 35 News Edge. Trending now is down to the wire. Orlando narrowing down its choice for a new city flag. Stewart's here to show us what the options are. Stephen, would you know and recognize Orlando's current flag? Angelina Jolie is putting down permanent roots in L.A. She's dropping some major cash on a historic piece of property. TMZ producer Van Lathan live in Hollywood tonight. So Van, tell us about this posh pad and how much Jolie paid for it. Um, she paid for it with 25 million bucks, uh, 25 Top million in the neighborhood, and that matters a lot uh, when you're living in Los Feliz in a posh, posh area. Incredible. Real quickly, Van, can I assume you live in a similar setup for your house? Oh, my God. I live in the very, very nice area called Compton. Compton, I California. It's very posh down there. That's where I live. Very nice. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. TMZ coming up tonight at 730 right here on Fox 35. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. Five years since the shooting death of Trayvon Martin, the anger and outrage still burn. For those who believe George Zimmerman got away with murder, and those who believe Trayvon Martin made a deadly criminal mistake. But what has really changed? A con caught on camera. What deputies want you to know about a Central Florida tow truck scheme. Plus, an argument turns into this. The brawl on the bus caught on camera. Ahead on the Fox 35 News Edge. Would you pay $22 for a stick? One of the most simple products ever created is making good money for a store in London. That's right, sticks. Literally pieces of wood gathered from the forest, selling for 22 bucks each. The unique selling point, well, they have holes drilled in them so they can be used as hooks to hang clothing. Wow.